Sunday, the 11th of September, 2022. First reading. A reading from, from the book of Exodus. The Lord spoke to Moses, Go down now, because your people, whom you brought out of Egypt, have apostatized. They have been quick to leave the way I marked out for them. They have made themselves a calf of molten metal and have worshipped it and offered it sacrifice. Here is your God, Israel. They have cried, Who brought you up from the land of Egypt? The Lord said to Moses, I can see how headstrong these people are. Leave me now. My wrath shall blaze out against them and devour them. Of you, however, I will make a great nation. But Moses pleaded with the Lord his God. Lord, he said, why should your wrath blaze out against this people of yours, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt with arm outstretched and mighty hand? Remember Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, your servants to whom your own self you swore and made this promise. I'll make your offspring as many as the stars of heaven and all this land which I promised I will give to your descendants and it shall be their heritage forever. So the Lord relented and did not bring on his people the disaster he had threatened. Responsorial Psalm I will leave this place and go to my father. Have mercy on me God in your kindness. In your compassion blot out my offence. O wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. I will leave this place and go to my Father. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. I will leave this place and go to my Father. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. My sacrifice is a contrite spirit. A humbled, contrite heart you will not spurn. I will leave this place and go to my Father. Second reading. Reading from the first book of Timothy. I thank Christ Jesus our Lord. He has given me strength, and he has judged me faithful enough to call me into his service, even though I used to be a blasphemer and did all I could to injure and discredit the faith. Mercy, however, was shown me, because until I became a believer, I had been acting in ignorance, and the grace of our Lord filled me with faith, and with the love that is in Christ Jesus. Here is a saying that you can rely on, and nobody should doubt, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. I, myself, am the greatest of them, And if mercy had shown to me, it is because Jesus Christ meant to make me the greatest evidence of his inexhaustible patience for all the other people who would later have to trust in him to come to eternal life, to eternal King, the undying, invisible and holy God, be honoured and glory forever and ever. Amen. Gospel Acclamation Hallelujah, Hallelujah. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our mind so that we can see what hope his call holds for us. Hallelujah. Gospel, a reading from the book of Luke. Tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus, but the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So to them he addressed his parable. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does find it, he sets on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbours and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents and over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. A what woman, having ten coins and losing one, would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it? And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbours and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found the coin that I lost. In the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing amongst the angels of God 
over one sinner who repents. Gospel of the Lord.